mind if he licks it and smells it. And... Yeah, he won't chew on it. Dad just wants a picture of the flag with the dog. Okay. Yeah. No. Here we are in the apex wolf sanctuary. Why have you brought us here? What's the significance of the wolves in our leadership and resilience and team building training? Uh, there's a lot of things. Number one, uh, this wolf sanctuary, and we can see we've got Thor here, and we got Loki way up on the hill up there. Um, apex is a wolf sanctuary that has brought together a bunch of either rescued, endangered, abused animals. So they're coming from all these different uh, walks of life to come together and heal and learn how to be a pack together. And a couple of the dynamics with that that relate to We're our starting program. starting to see some, some reflections of our little project. Yeah, and so okay. uh, a couple of the lessons of the wolves that we're gonna be unpacking in this workshop are, uh, number one, they're not built to hunt rabbits. Wolves hunt big game. They hunt elk, yeah. and they can't do it together. So um, these animals, which all weigh about 100 pounds, are pulling down a 1,500-pound forest horse yeah. with spears on its head, and they kill it with their face. And so the lesson is that we need to be able to work collaboratively. We need to understand a common vision, have a set of values that guide our behavior, and that's leadership. What happens with loss or grief and trauma in the wolf culture that we can yeah. that we can learn from? Um, from somebody who's not only been in the military but has worked with military in terms of post-traumatic stress, anxiety, transition, addiction. Um, the healing that is going to be relevant for us is going to come from us, from our community. Yeah. The wolves heal the wolves. And the moment that this pack howls together for the first time and they start going on these hikes with Apex for the first time, that's when they start to bond because a sense of belonging is the number one driver of resiliency, yeah. of healing. Because they explained to us that these wolves are not of the same family, they're not from the same pack, they come from all over the country really, right? Mm -hmm. And so they have to go through a process of forming their own new pack. Absolutely. With all the different dynamics and the roles that they play. Yeah. And so one of the things that we're exploring is what are the four different leadership styles that exist in the wolf pack? Yeah. And yeah. so we have our we have our leader wolves, we have our warrior wolves, we have our specialists, we have our caretaking nanny wolves, which is that lover, ally, supportive role. And <laughs> And one of the things that we're experiencing right now, this is called um, healthy conflict. And so one of the things, the number one things that I learned from the wolves uh, is that uh, that's called resource guarding, mine. I had, you have to defend, you have to defend your things. It's healthy. Come a little closer because I don't want this. I need to, I need to keep this within how many feet of my muzzle? Okay, within one foot of my <laughs> muzzle, this is mine. <laughs> so uh, the first thing I witnessed um, at Apex was there was some conflict. And I don't know if you heard on the video, but there was some squabbling going on up there on the hill. And it was for me very anxiety producing because like you all who are living in this pride based uh, society where we don't speak our truth, we're not authentic, we are not actually being real with each other in terms of accountability and our needs. When I saw healthy conflict, it was very disconcerting. And uh, it turns out that wolves need each other because they can't survive alone. They can't hunt successfully alone. So if you need your partners, if you need the other members of this cohort, if you need your family and your um, your your partners at work, we can't afford. <laughs> we can't afford to bite each other. And the moment that it becomes safe enough that we can start expressing our truth, that's when performance happens. That's when success happens, and that's when resiliency happens. So the big lesson of the wolves is. You can fight, just don't bite. <laughs>